You know, you can laugh, but I have witnessed a millennium of treachery and oppression from the males of the species, and I have nothing but contempt for the whole libidinous lot of them. Then why are you talking to me? <sighs> I don't have a date for the prom. If you don't know how I feel about I don't. This isn't a relationship. You don't need me. All you care about is lots of orgasms. I like you. You're funny and you're nicely shaped, and frankly, it's ludicrous to have these interlocking bodies and not interlock. Please remove your clothing now. Look, I know you find me attractive. I've seen you looking at my breasts. I'm imagining having sex with him right now. If you will. To sum up, I think it's a workable plan. So, the crux of this plan is... Sexual intercourse. I've said it like a dozen times. Men are evil. Will you go with me? One of us is very confused, and I honestly don't know which. When I think that something could happen to you, it feels bad inside. Like I might vomit. <laughs> Welcome to the world of romance. It's horrible. No wonder I used to get so much work. What's she doing? Xander said he was gonna dig. I want to see Xander dig. Fine. You know what? I hope you die. Aren't we gonna kiss? We could do something else you like. We could, um... Watch sports of some kind? Uh, I don't know. M men like sports. I'm sure of it. I'm not staying with him. I have a friend who's coming to town, and I'd like us to be alone. Oh, you mean an orgasm friend? Yes, that's exactly the most appalling thing you could have said. This isn't going to get all sexy, is it? Xander, what are you doing? You're supposed to be digging. I went to watch you digging, and you weren't there doing it. I'm imagining having sex with him again. I can't stop thinking about you. Sometimes, in my dreams, you're all naked. Any luck? Have you found the Dagon Sphere? Um, I'm sure it's here. Just be a minute. Yeah, we're on it. Let's look over here, where we didn't look yet. Guess she's out with Riley. You know how it is with a spanking new boyfriend. Yes, we've enjoyed spanking. Well, alone time always translates into get Don out of the house so we could have loud, obnoxious sex. <laughs> oh, does that mean we can't? Oh, I have condoms. Some are black. That's. That's very considerate. Pervert. Other pervert. Is that what this is about? We've gone to the nights without sex. I know. Twice. I can't believe we're breaking up. So, I, I'm over you now. Um... Okay. Okay? Anya... You wanna marry me? Sadly, without the fuzzy bikini. Off topic, Sandra. Right. Help it now. Mm, your head is moist. Oh, you're sick. No, see, because your insect reflection represents your insignificance in terms of the karmic cycle. Okay, but it's still not funny. Okay, do you have your powder? Oh, I ate that. I have it. I don't think I can sleep without her. You can sleep with me? Well, now that came out a lot more lesbian than it sounded in my head. God, what kind of lesbians are you? If you love men so much, go love men! This isn't about his physical presence. It's about his heart. His physical presence has a penis! I can work around it! I'm just trying to tell you that we have nothing in common besides both of us liking your penis. <laughs> that's, that's very humorous. Make fun of the ex-demon. <laughs> I can just hear you in private. I dislike that Anya. She's newly human and strangely literal. Come in. Enjoy my personal space. Excuse me, what kind? What? What kind of demon is she? There's a lot of different kinds. Some are very, very evil, and some have been considered to be useful members of society. He's a vengeance demon. You don't talk to vengeance demons. You kill them. 
didn't know you felt that way. What? Humans make the same mistakes over and over. I saw it when I was a vengeance demon. Some guy dumps a girl, she calls me, I exact vengeance, blah, blah, blah. The next year, same girl, different guy. I mean, after you smite a few of them, you start going, my goodness, young lady, maybe you're doing something wrong here, too? We are gonna have fun, fun, fun. Look, I've got Monopoly, Clue, and ooh, the game of life. That sounds good. Well, we can make a wager this time. You can give me real money. That would be different. And after we teach her how to gamble, maybe we can all get drunk. I don't think the bar would serve her, but we could bring something in. Strawberry schnapps taste just like real ice cream. Okay. Can I trade in the children for more cash? Please go. Anya, the Shopkeepers Union of America called. They want me to tell you that Please Go just got replaced with Have a Nice Day. That I have their money. Who cares what kind of day they have? No one. It's just a long cultural tradition of raging insincerity. Embrace it. Hey, you. Have a nice day. There's my girl. Sell bars, make money. Take Anya nice places, buy pretty things. It does make sense. Okay. I'll stay. But you should go. You could catch it. Then we'll die together. It's romantic. You know, you really should get yourself a boring boyfriend, like Xander. You can't have Xander. I'm very... Help me out. He's a Viking in the sack. Terrific. I'm not choosing between my girlfriend and my best friend. That's insane troll logic. Go, Xander. I love you. You said you wanted to check the board at the unemployment office this morning. You can't go like that. They won't even interview you if you're naked. Would you say it was a breakaway pop hit or more of a book number? Let it go, sweetie. And besides, I thought you were all angry at him. My feelings are changeable, but intense. There's a hurry, Xander. I'm dying. I may have as few as 50 years left. I'm feeling better, and I anticipate many years before my death. Yeah, Anya can do it. Thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. It's well said. It's for, uh I like money better than people. People can so rarely be exchanged for goods and or services. Sandra, she's pretending to be me. You said you were over me. And you just accepted that? I only said that because I thought that's what you wanted to hear. Well, that's the funny thing about me. I tend to hear the actual words people say and accept them at face value. That's stupid. I accept that. I'm thinking about buying something very expensive. Maybe an antelope. Hi. Hi. Huh. Buffy killed the demon. It was gross. <laughs> what review, Quentin? Let's just stop a moment and talk about this. Yes, excuse me. You, uh, you work here? Yes, I do. Ever since I moved here from southeastern Indiana, where I was raised by both a mother and a father. Anya, just go. You don't have to talk to him. Born on the 4th of July. And don't think there weren't jokes about that my whole life, mister, because there were. Who's our little patriot, they'd say, when I was younger, and therefore smaller and shorter than I am now. I just thought you could help carry a little. Me? Buffy has super strength. Why don't we just load her up like one of those little horses? Will you help me? <sighs> it's a difficult or time-consuming. I, I hate this. This tone in my voice. I dislike it more than you do, and I'm closer to it. Uh, already been looted. Sorry. Um, tr try the appliance store down the block. They've got great toasters. <clears throat> I, Anya, promise to love you, to cherish you, to honor you, uh, but not to obey you, of course, because that's anachronistic and misogynistic, and who do you think you are, like a sea captain or, or something? <laughs> you don't know how to drive? Why didn't you say you don't know how to drive? Well, I couldn't know if I could until I tried, could I? <clears throat> Blah, 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 misogynistic, blah, blah, and do however I trust you. Um, I go. Leave me here to stew in my impotent rage. I'm also going to pee, so you should probably go. You, you can do all this stuff with a, a regular computer? I'll show you. You can also see the website I designed for the magic shop. Huge photo of me. Xander! And... Anya, how is your money? 
Fine. Thank you for asking. You do this every night? Every time I close out the cash register. The dance of capitalist superiority. I'm gonna marry that girl. Start charging. For what? Slaying vampires. I mean, you're providing a valuable service to the whole community. I say cash in. What? That's your scary costume. Bunny's frightened me. When did you get all insightful? I'm surprisingly sensitive. Anya, that thing you created burst through solid pavement and ate her dog. Oh, puppy. And then he gave me this. Which I'll be paying for the rest of my life. Can I try it on? Oh, absolutely not. I'm blonde. I colored my hair again. I'm blonde. Yes, I noticed. Give it. Who you give it? Ow! 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 Did I miss something? Xander decided that he blames the wall. Spike's insane in the basement. Xander's there doing construction on the new gym. Oh, it spikes what in the whatment? Insane. Base. Ugh, chicken. Would you stop? Dare you. Anya, if I tell them that we're engaged right after you dared me to, wouldn't you always wonder if that's the only reason I did it? Oh. Where are they? Why are they here? I don't know. They could be hurt. Santa said I'd be lying somewhere, broken and bleeding, calling out my name. Anya. Like that, oh God. And, uh, Plus, I, uh, clearly our number is a retro pastiche. It's never going to be a breakaway pop hit. I'll have sex with you again. Ugh, please. You're human. The way you look now wouldn't touch it for all the kittens in Korea. You're rejecting my offer of sexual bribery? What am I, a leper in this town? I can't even give it away. Same file, I'm it's not cheating. I just embellish. Well, you can unembellish now. Bite me, Harris. Because if I get vamped, I'm going to bite your ass. Wouldn't be the first time. What was that? It, it did get a little sexy, didn't it? I have to find this monster. <laughs>